Encouraging people to stop and smell the roses? Our national emblem. God save the Queen. It must take patience and care to produce a bloom so beautiful. I imagine so. I merely sell them. The pot is damaged. The blow was severe, but softened by something. The pot is damp. is damaged. Anything tickle your fancy, Mr. Holmes? My condolences, Mrs. Fleming. Mr. Holmes? Your husband's death. You're clearly still in mourning. Oh, no. I loved him more than anything, of course, but that was some time ago now. Life goes on. A lesson we all learn, one way or another. What do you make of the flowers in Barnes' shop window? Well, they could use a bit of water. Do they mean anything to you? Mean anything how? I'm not sure I follow Mr. Holmes. Why do you think they're there? Are you suggesting the flowers are for me? It seems likely, does it not? Oh, I hope you're right. I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. Are you sure you're asking the right person? I'm just a flower seller. One of these things is not like the other. Come again? The cactus. Those fearsome spines can prove a devil to remove. And the sap is often toxic. And a rosethorn can give you tetanus, but we still grow them. The cactus seems comparatively harmless. Though you have me thinking it must be valuable. 
I was under the impression that you knew its price already. Your guess is as good as mine. The first time I saw this cactus was when I came back from my break. I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. Are you familiar with Mr. Barnes? Yes. No, not really. Well, in a way. What on earth does that mean? I know who he is, of course. But we haven't shared much more than a look. A look? Yes. Each morning I go for a walk in the park with my dog. And most days I spot Mr. Barnes there with his new puppy. So we see each other. Actually, we once met briefly while our dogs played. He was quiet and seemed unsteady as he approached. But since then, we've never spoken. I often see him staring through the shop window. Sometimes I wonder what he thinks about that would etch such longing onto his face. Hello there. What's your name? Lily. I know. Not very original. Didn't you once tell me that answers usually lie in plain sight? 